With split squat patterns, you're gonna execute just like you would with the split squat ISO. The only difference is you're gonna do the exact same thing, but you're gonna have no hold at the bottom. So once you position yourself, knee over front foot, back knee straight under hip, back toe tucked, I'm gonna go straight up and straight down, but as mentioned, I am no longer going to hold in that bottom position. You're gonna do it for the needed number of reps. If you see a split squat ISO with a pattern in the same movement or one right after the other, you will execute all of the split squat ISOs first and then you'll immediately go into the split squat pattern. So if I had split squat pattern first, I would do all three of my 10 second holds and then as soon as I'm done, without rearranging my feet, I would go straight in to my patterns for the needed number of reps. Then I would switch my legs, reposition myself on the ground and do the exact same thing for that side as well.